Hello everyone, welcome to my The Bold and the Beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Monday, October 28, 2024. Steffi Ridge and Eric talk about Carter's proposal today on The Bold and the Beautiful. Brooke gives Hope and Carter the gears, and Steffi demands an explanation. Brooke enters Forrester's design office and sees Carter stooping over Hope, who is seated at the desk. She lets out a moan. Oh God, Hope, you and Carter, she says, shutting the door. There's more to this than meets the eye. Hope informs her mother. They're not playing around. Wait, you two are involved, asks Brooke, incredulously. She understands that this is the reason they have been supporting one another. Hope assures her that no one, especially not Ridge, can be aware of this. Steffi, Ridge, and Eric talk about Carter's desire for growth in the main office, which she believes has come out of nowhere. Although he finds it amusing that Carter was so enraged, Eric claims it will never happen. Ridge appreciates his initiative. Eric and Steffi concur, but it's excessive. They demonstrate that they are a family business exempt from reporting to investors or shareholders. According to Eric, Carter's idea would alter everything. Ridge questions why he feels the need to take this risk at this time. What is Carter contemplating? They question why Carter withheld this information from them before surprising them. This has never been done before. According to Eric, it would transform the business from a fashion house to a brand. This is not something I want to do. Rich notes that it would generate a significant amount of revenue. As a fashion house, they have achieved the pinnacle. Steffi adds that they would have to relinquish authority when he and Eric argue over going on debt. Carter seems to know what he's doing, according to Ridge. But why now? Why do it now? Steffi is unsure if Carter's idea is appropriate for them, or the right time for us, adds Ridge. She believes that innovation is the key to their success. They review their previous dangers. Steffi asserts that since this is the house of Forrester, they don't require the scrutiny of investment bankers. Ridge and Eric concur. According to Eric, they create trends rather than following them. Steffi adores that. She wonders if she should take the chance now. Ridge also does. Eric believes that something is happening here. What's causing this sudden need for change? As Brooke questions Carter about her sister, Katie, Hope becomes agitated in the design office. Hope's aunt. According to Carter, they had been apart for some time. Brooke inquires as to if she is aware of this. They don't want anyone to know, according to Hope, because it's a fling, a rebound, asks Brooke. Hope responds that they are only giving themselves some time to observe the situation. They're having a good time together. Squinting, Brooke says, in secret. According to Carter, it's because of Hope's lying situation at work. She requests that her mother swear not to speak. According to Ridge at the main office, Carter has never led them astray. It feels out of rhythm lately, Steffi admits. They have never been interested in making money, despite Eric's belief that he does. He fears that if this firm incurs debt, it would not be able to support his great grandchildren. Steffi is worried about something else. Regarding the Logans, Carter has expressed his opinions. Her position on Hope's line bothers him. He believes she is letting a personal grudge affect her work choices. She has shown a great deal of patience with Hope for the future, according to Eric. Steffi gives her granddad credit. The topic of conversation shifts to his introducing Steffi to Ivy and her jewelry line. She believes that before inviting Ivy to her office, he ought to have conferred with them. It was just an idea. Ridge shrugs. According to Steffi, it's the timing of everything at once. She questions whether Hope is somehow invading Carter's thoughts. Hope informs Brooke in the design office that if everyone contributes, they won't be able to take their time. Hope shouldn't have to justify her emotions or behavior, according to Carter. How about you, Carter? says Brooke. According to Carter, Hope urged him to express his ideas for Forrester. She motivates me, makes me feel my best. According to Hope, 
Carter also brings out the best in her. She brings up his defense of her and her line to her mother. That's great, but it's business, Brooke adds. According to Hope, it's about respect. Hope and Carter share the same goals, one of which is to put a stop to the conflict between Forrester and Logan. The current state of affairs will not allow that to occur, and they're enjoying themselves a little while doing it. Carter apologizes for having to witness it. According to Brooke, both of them are consenting adults. But you're going to hear my questions and concerns. Rich informs Steffi at the main office that she has every reason to exercise caution when it comes to hope. Eric concurs. Steffi claims she doesn't trust her spouse since she kissed him. She is beginning to suspect that she may be playing Carter. He is her ally for that reason. Rich claims that he is devoted to the business. Steffi tells him that Carter and her had decided to disconnect the line not too long ago. According to Rich, it is irrelevant. She allowed her time to change the situation. It doesn't matter what Carter says. They must say if Hope fails to provide the figures. Eric concurs, saying, Exactly. This is our business. We are aware of Forrester's best interests. Brooke wants Carter to be really honest with her at the design office. You and Katie are no longer together. According to Carter, they remain friends. Brooke notes that he is a senior executive there and Ridge's best buddy. Hope inquires as to if she is suggesting that while they collaborate, they shouldn't be involved. Carter is not her employer, she reminds her. Having someone at her side makes Brooke feel better. She doesn't want the high level of tension there to affect them. According to Hope, they want to take their time and observe the situation. Carter is aware of the issue with Finn. She informs her mother. Carter knows what it's like to find yourself attracted to the wrong person. They appreciate Brooke's assistance and her confidentiality. When she enters, Steffi asks if she's disturbing anybody. According to Carter, they were talking about work. Oh, Steffi says, you could explain the situation to me if you were talking about work. According to teasers for The Bold and The Beautiful, next week we'll have three must-see events. Expect Steffi Forrester Finnegan to be quite irate during the week of October 28, 2024, as she makes a financial choice that completely alters Forrester creations. Ivy Forrester gets what she wants by avoiding Steffi. In addition, Brooke Logan discovers a difficult secret. Spoilers for The Bold and The Beautiful, Ivy Forrester's Goal Ivy and Electra Forrester are the focus of one must-see scene, according to B&P spoilers for the week of October 28. Ivy and Electra were asked by Carter Walton to present Steffi with their jewelry brand, but Steffi would shut it off right away without even looking at the drawings. Electra and Ivy then proceeded to see Eric Forrester. Because she didn't want to offend Steffi, Ivy played it. But Ivy also kept bringing up how Steffi was preventing the Foresters from uniting. Eric pledged to act since his family is his top priority. Ivy and Electra appear to be partying at Forrester Creations with Eric and Ridge Forrester in a teaser video. Steffi doesn't seem to be involved in this choice, which will enrage the FC princess. Ridge abruptly siding with Steffi is hinted at. At the conclusion of the week, Steffi takes a furious executive decision. This choice alters everything at Forrester Creations and has repercussions. Another must-see scene revolves around Brooke, according to spoilers for the week of October 28 on The Bold and the Beautiful. Fans remember how Hope and Carter were sprawled over the desk at the end of Friday's episode when Brooke burst through the door. Brooke first just saw Carter's naked back. Then Brooke noticed Hope's head peeking out when Carter stood up and turned around. When Monday's program airs, Brooke will demand answers because she was appalled. Spoilers for B&B &B for the week of October 28, 2024. The idea that Brooke discovers a difficult secret is hinted at. Hope could plead Brooke not to tell anybody what she witnessed. But Brooke would have to hide it from Rich because of this. That may prove to be more difficult than expected particularly if Carter keeps promoting this idea of a luxury umbrella. Additionally, Taylor Hayes will provide fans with an update on Ridge's health.
Hope commits the biggest mistake. Additionally, Sheila Carter Sharp celebrates Halloween in style. During the week of October 28, 2024, whose narrative are you most excited to see? So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.